Who? Oh, hey, what did you come for? I'm worried about you. Oh. Danny's taking the kids to the park under protest. Yeah. You walked all the way? Came across the pit fields. We started another step where the footpath was. I had to work my way around. Hey, you can see from here. I missed the bus. Next one's 12 o'clock. You'd have missed me if I'd caught it. Oh, well, view's worth the walk, isn't it? <sighs> Is it? Skeleton Alps. Aye. Did you see Arthur Corby? Aye. We're in debt, Cassie. Trying to help, was he? He meant well. Don't abuse his motives. What have I said? It'll need to be paid back, then. It'll be taking it from you. And I'll have to force it on him. If you say nay... It'll just have to be so much a week, then, won't it? <coughs> There'd have been a grand view from here, you know, but for one thing. What's that? What you wrote that essay about when you were at high school. You know, the one you won a prize for. Industrial Revolution. Ah, that were it. You know what I see when I look at that lot? What? Work. When you've got work, you've got everything. Have you? We live in a cold climate. Main view we have is the fireside. That's coal and work. Some folks have it both ways. They can look out the doors and take pleasure in the view. Happen we will one day. But work first, Cassie. Work for all before everything, is that it? When you tasted it to the road round, it is. Hmm, Jack Barrowcliffe would not agree with you. Ah, oh, he's a bit of a dreamer, is Jack. He comes from in here, not up here. Hmm. <laughs> I'm standing again in November, when the election comes. You've decided, then? I can't leave under a cloud, Cass. And the things I've started, I want to see done. Can you bear with me? I've not got much option, have I? You'll kill yourself, do you know that? No. We've all got to die. Lucky them that dies with something under their belts. <laughs>